This morning I'm going to demonstrate how uh, Steve Wozniak uh, transitioned his uh, Apple II from a 13-sector DOS, uh, which was developed and used in the late 70s, to the newer 16-sector DOS um, around 1980, which uh, provided uh, more disk storage due to uh, 16 sector tracks. What I have here is a uh, Apple II Plus which I've uh, put integer ROM chips in it to essentially make it now an Apple II. Um, I have a language card with the auto start F8 ROM on it so it will boot on power up. I have a Microsci uh, dual 1316 sector uh, disk controller uh, switchable with a jumper wire I'm, I've installed which goes to a switch I can choose between 16 and 13 sectors per track and I recently discovered uh, and got functioning this, the Energy Basic pro, program that was wrote uh, to create a dual uh, boot track. Um, what I have here is a uh, DOS uh, 3.2 master, it's 13 sector formatted, uh, uh, standard version uh, for the Energy ROM chipset. And if I have it in 16 sector mode and I boot, it will not boot yet. If I switch it to 13 and boot, It boots into uh, DOS 3.2 uh, from 1979. But then I found a program <clears throat> called uh, Wasboot 13. Um, written by Steve Wozniak himself. I'll load it here. a portion of it and you can see uh, in the remarks written by Waz 16 January 1980 and he lays out in remarks a map of uh, the machine code that he's embedded uh, in this integer basic program to do the uh, 16 sector uh, RWTS uh, to lay uh, a dual boot sector onto track zero. If I run it, it tells what it's about to do and how it does it. And uh, Looks like it moves uh, track zero sector 10 to track zero sector 11. And then, uh, yeah, modifies uh, track zero sector one uh, to jump to 11 or something like that. Anyway, so now I need to put in the disk that I'm going to modify. Hit 
return. And I heard it do some writing of sectors and it reports successful update and then uh, prompts for more disks that you can update. But now if I power off, switch to 16 sector. So now I'm on 16. This disk previously would not boot on 16 sector. does. And if I switch back to 13, it also boots. So there we have a uh, dual boot um, disk and this was used um, quite a bit in uh, the uh, 1980-81 uh, time frame to, um, so people could uh, have the software boot on both the old and new uh, disk formats.